Hey guys, it's Travios here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a custom face on mobile. If you are on laptop or computer, please check out my other tutorial here, which is designed for computer users instead. Let's get straight into the video. So the first step is to open Roblox in your device's browser. So that could be Chrome or Safari. Then you want to head over to Avatar Shop and go into the faces section and find a face that you would like to use as the template for your custom face. Once you've found your face, you want to save it to your camera roll and then you want to download the app IBS Paint. Now you want to open the app IBS Paint and then open the image of the face you just downloaded. From here, we're going to make the background transparent. So click on the number one down the bottom right and then click the transparent option. Now we're going to erase the cheeks. So go to the eraser button and then just erase the cheeks. I'm going to be adding a skin tone layer to do this go on the one button and click the plus and drag the layer under your face layer then select a skin tone and make it kind of like your avatar and this will help you get a better idea of what the face will look like on your avatar okay so now I'm gonna be adding the blush layer to do this I'm gonna add another layer and make it sure it's above my face layer then I'm going to go into my brush settings and change it to airbrush and then I'm going to go into color settings and make it a reddish slash pink color to represent blush. I'm just going to adjust the brush size to make it bigger and then I'm going to go over under the eyes and above the mouth. So now we have our face base. I'm going to head over to Google and I'm going to find some overlays that I want to add onto my face. I'm going to be adding sparkles and butterflies and make sure they're in PNG so they have no background on them. After I've saved those images, I'm going to return to IBS Paint and I'm going to add them in. To do this, I'm going to go onto the one button and click the camera icon and then I'm going to select the overlays from my gallery. Now I'm going to resize the sparkles. I'm going to make them small so they're not too big and take up all the space. And now I'm going to go onto my eraser button and erase the sparkles that are on the eyes and on the mouth so they're mainly on the cheeks. Now I'm going to import my butterfly overlay so I'm going to go back to the camera icon, select my image and I'm going to shrink it to a small size and then when I'm done with that I'm going to click the green tick. Okay, so to change the color of your overlay, make another layer and then go into brush tool and then you can change the settings of a brush. So I'm making it a different felt tip and then I'm going to just scribble over my overlay. It doesn't have to be accurate and then go onto settings and make it a clipping mask. Then click the merge down button so it becomes one shape and you can easily move it. So I can go back into the transform tool and make it smaller and rotate it so it's how I want it. Now I'm going to duplicate the butterfly. So I'm going to click on the layer and then click duplicate layer. Now I'm going to transform this one to be slightly smaller than the other one and position it differently. So if I want to rotate it, I can go on the perspective tool. I know here I'm playing around with it a lot, but I'm just trying to get it in the right position where I like. Now I'm going to group the butterfly layers. I'm going to go onto one of them and just click merge down. So now they're one group and I can move them around together and I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to flip it in the perspective tool by just dragging it over like this. And I'm going to put them on the right side of the face. Okay, so I'm super happy with this face. I think it looks so cute, but now I want to add eyeliner. So I'm going to make another layer and I'm going to go into my brush settings and I'm going to change what type of brush I have. I'm going to make the, the felt tip brush hard and I'm going to change the thickness at the start and the end to 0%. Now my brush is ready to use and it will be like slick at the end and the start, if you know what I mean. So it will be easier to create the eyeliner effect. I'm going to put the stable up to 10 so it's easy to draw because I'm not a great drawer. And I'm just going to basically trace over the eyeliner. 
and it's going to have a little flick at the end. Then I'm going to repeat that with the other eye. And I'm going to change the brush size to 3.1 and I'm going to go back in and make small little strokes and they're going to look like my eyelashes on my face. <laughs> I'm adding two eyelashes to each eye so it's like not too much but just the right amount. Here I'm just basically redoing it. As I said before I'm not the best drawer so I'm kind of like erasing it and then going back in but I think that looks good. All right, so this is optional, but you can add a freckle layer. So add a new layer and make the color a dark brown color and just make the brush small or actually just keep it the same size as before and just make dots everywhere. I'm just tapping everywhere for my freckles. I'm not really being precise with them. And once you're happy with how they look, you can go back into your settings button and you can make the opacity down a bit so they blend better. And now we can make them blurry by going to the FX button going into blur tab and making it Gaussian blur and you can make it like one or two or three blur and so now they look super cute and now we can remove the skin tone layer so just click on it and click the delete button and now we want to save it as a transparent png and now we're ready to upload so to upload you must get the chrome app once you've got the chrome app you need to go on to roblox and once you're on roblox and you're signed in Click on the three dots up the top and go down to request desktop site. Once you've clicked it, it will refresh the page and then you can head over to the create tab. Now you can click decals and upload the face you just saved. Okay, so now you're finished. Congratulations, you just made your custom face. Comment if you had any struggles and I can help you fix those problems. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you very much and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.